Okay, so I got a got a funny one today. I recently was on a flight and I got the United Airlines earbuds. Right here. Take a good look at those. Can't even tell which one is left or right. I don't think they're even marked left or right. They also make a good um, Moroccan noise. Wait. There we go. Pretty good instrument. I think that's the drivers um, wobbling around in there. Okay. What we're going to do is give it a, uh, a good look. I'm going to talk about the quality, the construction quality, and the sound quality. I'm going to test it with all these different devices, these different amps I have. Um, here I got a standard thing right there, and right here I have my Android phone and an iPod Touch with Hi-Fi files on it. So for the Android phone, we're going to be using the USB audio player. This way I have full high definition. And I think I'll be playing Utopia. Uh, to use as my test just because it's a very new album and it was well produced so let's find a good song there let's do uh, where is it sirens that's a good one okay i got that loaded let's move all my devices and let's go into the, the earbuds. This magical piece of equipment. So I see these going on eBay for like a dollar ninety or like a dollar twenty-five. So check out that construction. Let's take off the tips. See what type of nozzle we're dealing with here. Okay. There's no mesh. There are three holes, and two of them are the same size, and then one is smaller. Oh, it does have a symmetrical design, so you can see right there in the tips, there's like this notch. And if I hold it like this, maybe it has an offset, so I can see which one is left and right. No, there's no offset. The one on my left right here seems like it's popping open, so I guess we'll, we'll pop these open towards the end of the video. Um... Let me pull out the different tips I have. Okay, there we go. Something is telling me that I'm gonna need the spin fits. So let's get the spin fits going. Maybe even the final tips. Put some $5 tips on a $1 earbud. There we go. So, let's see. We got all these final tips here. We got the spin fits. I'll do the spin fits first after the stock tips. Okay, let's go to the connector. This is probably the most impressive part of these buds. That thing is like really jutting out there has good grip on it too back here and it is a right angle with like a slight offset I don't know what that would be but take notes big IEM companies <laughs> um, let's see how that even fits into one of these ah I missed there is a little bit of a space there 
that's why it looks odd because it is like extra extended there's like two millimeters of space in there okay this wire is interesting too it's very rough it does have this chin uh, slider and the thing about the chin slider is that it goes all the way down to the bottom and all the way to the top and there's also no um, wire break stop so I could pull this and it would break the wire all the way down to the jack right down here okay I'm not gonna try to break that right now I need to listen to these because you're gonna blow me away um, so based off of these markings I'm going to assume thing is I can't even really assume because it's symmetrical I'll just have to play a song and see if the song is uh, hitting my ears the wrong way so let's go for the stock tips first and let's plug up the regular Apple USB-C dongle. There we go. Accept. And it is detected. It did not blow up. Are they sizzling? No. this song it's playing vocals are gone very very pushed back this is so bad There's nothing there. It's um it sounds like this. Very hi fi. This kind of makes me wonder if um the phone is broken. But I know it's not. It's just the buds. What's that first line? That he says. It really sounds like a really old broken radio. He's like, we gotta, we gotta spread out the word. I think that's the first thing he says. And it's like, we gotta spread out the word. That's what it sounds like. It's distorting. Okay, let's try different tips. And they don't, they don't even go in, by the way. They just kind of like... Here, let me go down. You can see there's a huge gap up here. They just fall out. But that's why we got tips. Kind of sounds like it's mono, also. Let's just get rid of these tips. These tips might be good. They look like the B&O tips, actually. And the medium B&O tips do work for me, so I might keep that. Ah, oh, come on. Get out of here. Ah, there we go. All right, let's try the smalls. Okay, let's see if that goes in. I don't know. Still don't even fit. This is like unhuman, like how large this thing is. Way too big. Uh, maybe a little more clarity. Let's try a different song. Oh. 
the voice is just like it's like in this uh, tin foil chamber and it's like blah, 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 blah. sounds like cardboard sounds like you someone took um really thick cardboard put it up to a uh, already really bad speaker and covered the um what is it the, the tweeters uh let's go through my favorites here I know this song has a lot of 808. Type R. I'm amazed. Alright, let's hook this up to a better um, DAC. So this is about, I don't know, 30 watts. It's connected to 70 watts. Let's see if it blows up. Okay, here we go. Play. Oh, yeah, I gotta cancel out the app. Cancel. Reopen. Play. Ooh. Don't want to get flagged. Let's reconnect. Didn't even recognize it. Usually recognize it. Could be this wire. I have had issues with this wire. This is a FIO wire that goes to this. Sometimes it doesn't work. So let's just do my regular setup with my Velcro. Let's see if it recognizes that. Ah, now I recognized it. Yes, yes, good. They're making a lot of noise, a lot of staticky noise. Definitely a little bit louder. Still sound terrible. There's a little bit more bass. We got Little Man J. It hurts when you when you give it um seventy watts. There's no separation. I think it's mono for sure. Kid Cuddy's voice is just not portrayed right let's give it uh these tips with the really wide bore these are the clarion let's see what happens here no just no these if they try to give you these for free you you have to charge them charge them to give these to you that's what you got to do when you're on the when you're on the airplane. Twenty dollars. They have to give you these and twenty dollars to bear the pain. So let's see what this does right here. Okay, let's go all the way down. Let's widen this out. You can see there's no no restriction there. It just goes and goes. 
I gotta have a really big neck for that. It's crazy. Okay. Now let's uh, bring that back down. See how that looks. How long are these? These are probably longer than usual, but so let's compare it to my um, Sennheiser IDs over here. can't believe they're touching this is terrifying so it's like a extra foot in length okay um, let's crack one open shall we I thought that would break a little bit easier, but it's not separating. What do I have? I have a knife. So. Here we go. Let's see here. What's going to happen when I crack this open? not opening. What if I pull from the center? No. Was it this one that was opening? Oh, it's this one. This one's already opening a little bit. Yeah, the knife definitely went in a little bit further. There we go. Got it. So now, let's see what we're dealing with. What? Come on. didn't work okay pliers I got scissor titanium scissor got it there we go come on they gotta be it it's gotta be it that would has, has to be the one no There we go. Where did the driver go? There it is. I got the driver. Single dynamic, probably um, diamond plated with a titanium center for sure. Thank you.